clarification. One is with the lawyers of the county assembly. And I'd like to take you to page 386 of your documents on volume two. If you can clarify the letter which is indicated there, submissions of nomination list for candidates interviewed for the post of chief officer in the county, it's got two dates. One is November 11th, which happens to be my birthday, and the other one is October 9th, 2023. Which is which? So if you can clarify that, I'd really appreciate it. The other two questions, I'll direct them to the witness. If you could clarify a couple of issues. Issue number one, in your evidence in chief, you indicated that when government officials are traveling, and where the expenses are paid for by the party inviting them, they receive quota per diem. In the cross-examination, you indicated that no money was lost. Could you clarify that? And then number three, one simple question in terms of if miss, is if miss the final proof of payment? Or is there any other way that you can tell that money has been paid? And then finally, on issue to do with the PFM Act, I've had you making a lot of submissions in terms of the PFM, and you alluded to the fact that there was a lot of embezzlement of funds, money was being withdrawn. The question that I wanted to ask is that who is the head of the county treasury. Is it the county governor or is it someone else as per the PFM Act? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Proceed. Witness, proceed to. The first question was directed to the council. Okay. There was a question, Mr. Speaker, as to the two dates on page three. 86 of Obadu, the date of 9th October 2023, of our volume 2, Mr. Speaker, 86. 